Muhammad, peace be upon him. If I were to ask you, who is the highest of creation, the most noble of all prophets of Allah? The answer is Muhammad, peace be upon him. Have you ever thought? Welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. I hope you guys are really doing all right. Thank you to everyone that's been suggesting things, requesting, giving us things just to watch off of YouTube through Facebook, Instagram, and other mediums as well. Uh, thank you for watching, sharing, and just coming along throughout this journey like th following us throughout this this journey that we're taking so yeah like we said this is our reaction channel you can give us reactions to react to other than just religious things we react to music trailers and everything else that you guys would like us to react to other than this channel we actually have a vlog channel called funny and jesse 2.0 you can check us on itunes diving in with funny and jesse and you can also support us on patreon funny and jesse make sure to check out all these things that i've said or you can actually follow us on our personal um social media funny and jesse it should be funny and jesse almost everywhere so yeah without wasting time oh so today i'm actually going to be reacting to Allah speaks to the person who lost hope sometimes we just find ourselves in these situations where not only are we losing hope, but lose faith and we lose sight in that moment. But we shouldn't beat ourselves over those little moments because sometimes hard moments like these just are just a passing phase. So I'm excited to see what this video holds and without wasting time, let's get into the video. I love you who committed immorality, whether it is adultery or fornication or any other form of immorality, if they committed it, or those who have wronged themselves by committing any sin, if they remember Allah, and they seek forgiveness for their sins, saying, who is there who's going to forgive me besides Allah? I ask you a question. Don't we all believe the same thing? Who is going to forgive you besides Allah? No one. I have no option but to hope in Allah. I have no other option because Allah is my maker and I'm going to go back to him. What other option do I have? Nothing, zero. So I ask Allah, oh Allah, forgive my sins, have mercy on me and grant me Jannah and give it to every one of us. Amen. So Allah says, those who remember Allah and seek the forgiveness of Allah because they know that there is none to forgive the sins besides Allah. You know what? If they don't continue in their bad ways and habits and they try their best to be upright, Allah says, Amazing. Those are the ones who will achieve the mercy of Allah. That's what Allah says. And they are the ones who will get paradise, Jannah. Subhanallah. Look at how merciful Allah is. He is saying, if you want Jannah, it does not mean you are a person who never committed a sin. No, you are a person who committed sins, but you sought the forgiveness of Allah. That is when you are in the mercy of Allah. That is when you will get Jannah. Amazing. Thank Allah. We have hope. We have hope. We will not lose the hope in the mercy of Allah. We will have hope. So this is the beauty of Allah. I want you, my brothers and sisters, to remember these words. And I want you to understand. Always turn back to Allah. Always turn back to Allah. Never lose hope. Write your book well. When we get into the Akhirah, we must all be from among those who get our books on the right. Get our books on the right and we keep walking into Jannah. Into Jannah. Into the companionship of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And we meet there and we will be in the best place ever. And we will never regret the little suffering that we had on this earth. 
Subhanallah. I want to tell you a very good message. Let me spend a few more minutes. Something very, very interesting. If I were to ask you who is the most loved unto Allah, the answer is Muhammad, peace be upon him. If I were to ask you who is the highest of creation, the most noble of all prophets of Allah, the answer is Muhammad, peace be upon him. Have you ever thought Allah loves him more than you and I, but he never sat in an aircraft? Allah loved him more than you and I, but he has never had a watch. Allah loved him more than you and I, but he never had a tap which he could turn on and the water would come out from. Allah loved him more than you and I, he did not have a fan or electricity. Allah loved him more than you and I, he never had a car. Forget about Mercedes, he never even had a Toyota. Allah loved him more than you and I, he did not have a bicycle. Allah loved him more than you and I, he did not have the type of clothing that we have that goes to show that everything we have is irrelevant in the eyes of Allah. It's got to do with who is closer to Allah, who gets Jannatul Firdaus. Remember that. When you have things, it's not a sign of the happiness of Allah. Sometimes maybe when you don't have it, it's a sign of the happiness of Allah. You follow what I'm saying? But if Allah has blessed you, there's no harm. Let your blessings bring you closer to Allah and make you humble. Some people when they have the blessings, they turn away from Allah. Some people when they have blessings, they become arrogant. Remember my brothers and sisters, two things will take you to paradise. Taqwallahi wa husnul khuluqi. Be conscious of Allah and treat the other people with a lot of respect. I call on you to do those two things. This is the pulpit of Jum'ah. This is a sacred pulpit. It is a pulpit from which people are hoping to listen to a message of mercy, a message of goodness, a message of closeness to Allah, a message that will move us. I hope and I pray today's message has moved myself and every one of us. We might be struggling in our countries. We might be suffering in a way or two. Those who are better than us have struggled more. And they said, Oh Allah, if you are happy with me, I don't mind the struggles that I'm going through. If you are happy with me, it's okay. Everything else is irrelevant. Interesting video, totally different from what I was thinking, but always interesting to listen to. I don't even know where to start from, but then I'm kind of confused here because was he, did he just give it as an example or was he actually saying that Muhammad is the most loved than the rest of us? I'm confused. Are we like the second loved? Can someone please clarify that for me? Because then, why would we be second love than someone that lived years ago? It doesn't make sense to me. Otherwise, I have to agree with the rest of the video that was talking about um, how all owing things or owning things, rather owning things, doesn't really mean anything in this world. You can own this, you can own that, you can own the entire earth and entire things on earth and that's just not your passage to heaven or something. It doesn't matter what you own, it doesn't matter what you do. Otherwise, at the end of the day, respect people, pray to God, then things will be fine. Sometimes... We make mistakes even if you killed a fly today you slapped someone as long as you ask for forgiveness there's always chance for you there's always chance for me there's always chance for anyone out there let me know give me your thoughts on this particular video and the question that i've asked i would read because i'm really really curious please answer me that and make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.
Capatude. 